Greetings to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about, I think this is the hardest and the toughest thing to actually train for endurance. You've probably guessed it, but it is your mind. And this is something that I'm still trying to get better at. But I'm just going to share some of the things that I've learned over the years that helped me kind of push myself and I don't know, keep me, what's the word? Like just keep me motivated to ride when you are feeling a little bit low or you have slumps because a lot of the questions that you asked in the Q&A were about like, how do you deal with low points? How do you keep going when you really don't want to? And it's all about your mind. It doesn't matter if that ride is like 50K or 100K, 500K or 1500K, it's all relative. We've all got to use our minds in a way that is, productive and not destructive. And I actually want to show you very quickly a little bit of footage that I took before I started All Points North because I was so nervous. I normally get a little bit of like nerves, excitement, but this was like extra nerves. But like I've got back and I've got change and now I'm like, <sighs> scared. <laughs> and it's just riding a bike. I need to tell myself that. And I need to like tell you, tell myself what I tell you lot. But I think there is a possibility that I might not complete this and I think, I guess that's what makes it a challenge. I just need to like, it's just riding a bike. I've done it before. I'm trying to talk myself into it and then I'm talking myself out of it. It's just about using your mind in the best way possible. So the first thing is breaking it up into sections. So I can't comprehend thinking I'm gonna ride 300K or I'm gonna be out for like 12 hours. I have to break it down into little sections of like five or 10 or even 50 kilometers, tricking your mind to know that you can do what you've already done. And that leads me on to the second tip, which is use old experiences of, of tough rides that you've done and you've got through. For me, like when it was raining in the middle of the night, I did um, an event called Great Escapades, I think it was last year, and it was just so wet and muddy and I just kept thinking yes it's raining yes I'm fixing a flat but at least it's not muddy 10 to 3 in the morning it's been raining for about 12 I can't say I'm really enjoying this or if there was like a bit of like windy weather I was like well I rode from like London back to Manchester and I had pretty much it was like a really strong cross headwind the whole way back and I was like well if I can do that I can do this another thing that I do as well is I like tell myself you're doing really good like tell yourself every so often you know what you, you're doing really well like my Achilles I'm like you've not been great like for a, a year and you're doing really well and I think it's just like telling yourself and like patting yourself on the back sometimes and being like do you know what you're doing well you're doing good you're doing the best you can do and it's just like getting yourself into that positive mindset and that positive mindset doesn't need to be like this is amazing I'm having the best time ever like wow this is fantastic sometimes it's just kind of keeping that I guess, I don't know, keeping that like level, if that makes sense. I'm not getting really over excitedly happy because then you're gonna get like really low. Just try to keep it like really even, just like I'm doing this, I can do it. And just keep it like that positive outlook. The next tip that I learned was from a book called The Cycling Mind. I'll leave a link to it below. And in that it talks about um, that thoughts are not facts. When I set off on all points, so I think one of the toughest parts of that ride was the start. It was probably like the first, I'd say three hours. My mind was just saying, why are you doing this? You're not good enough to do this. Like, you've done it before and you failed it. Like, go home, like, don't do it. Don't put yourself through it again. I had to keep telling myself, these are just thoughts. These are just my fears and they're not facts. And the facts of this are, have you done the training? Yes, I've done enough training. My route is good. I've got everything with me that I could possibly need. I've got enough food, I've got enough water. And yeah, that's what I had to keep reminding myself and like thinking logically, not the fear side of me thinking like the worst. I was telling myself all of this and then I don't think my voice enough was, what on alone, alone, sorry, was enough. So then I had to put the audio book on of the cycling mind because that just, it was almost like just to take my mind off it and I was just listening to it and I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. It just put me in a really good frame of mind. You're gonna ask how I listen to them. Um, but yeah, I use shocks. These are bone conducting headphones and they sit on the outside of your ear so you can still hear the environment, you can still hear traffic. They're phenomenal. If you look back on all my old long distance videos, I've always got them on because they're just 
incredible. I kind of feel like they're like my little secret weapon when I'm not feeling great. They, and I'm gonna tell you the different ways that I use them to help kind of keep me going when I'm not feeling great. The next tip is music. You don't need me to tell you how much music can like boost motivation. And I did this on some of the night ride. I just put music on that just really like put me in a good mood and just kept me going and just, yeah, motivated me. And the next thing is, and I'm sure she won't mind me telling you about this, but my friend Nikki, who was the first woman back, she was having a bit of a tough time. And again, like, it's only because I've spoken to her that I know this. It's sometimes when you just see like, I guess leaderboard, you just think they don't, that people don't go through this. Everybody goes through this. Um, but she, yeah, not having a great time and she decided that she was gonna pack it in. So she started riding towards Durham train station and she got towards there, she spoke to a friend. A friend basically was just like, just have a nap, like have something to eat and see how you feel. That worked and then she just basically was like no I'm not packing this and I'm gonna finish it so she did that code on was the first woman back which is just amazing and I had similar so some of my low points I think it was like the second day where I was quite tired it had been raining for so long and I'd had a really long headwind and I spoke to my friend I was just like I don't know whether this is for me again the same thoughts thinking I don't know whether I can do this and he just basically said you've been so excited for this for so long, you've done all this training, you know you can do it, and I know if you pack it in now, like future Katie, who's not tired, who's not a little bit hungry, a little bit mardy, will regret not being able to finish it. And it's just knowing that if you just push through those moments, you're gonna feel better again. Like it just doesn't, I think this is again, this is another tip that I've learned, is that it doesn't consistently get worse. If you're having a low moment, it doesn't just get worse, 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 worse. Not that I've found. Having that friend to call is just, I can't recommend it enough. And I have another friend, Darren, who you've probably seen in videos. Um, we've got called like an Audax helpline, so that if we're both either of an Audax and we're not with the other one, that we can just ring each other up and be like, oh, I'm having a bit of a tough time. And then we'll try and talk to each other like, into finishing it. Obviously not if you're like in absolute pain or agony or something's physically wrong, but some most of the time it is because you're a little bit tired and you're a little bit hungry or you're a bit dehydrated. So just trying to take care of those things really helps. Also, my little secret weapon, because for music, for audiobooks, to talk to a friend, because you can use these for phone, they've got a microphone on them, just amazing. I've used them for years and I feel like I don't, I don't think I've done one ride without taking them because I just feel like if I do feel that low, I've always got these as like a backup almost just to be able to like get me out of it. They have sponsored this video. I'm so happy because even if they hadn't sponsored this video, I would still promote them. I would still recommend them because I think they're phenomenal. So these ones are the, I'll show you properly better on my head so you can see them. These are the open run. And these come in a regular size and they've actually come in mini now and I actually prefer the mini because I have a little pea head. Um, but they don't interfere with like your helmet or your glasses and they just sit really well. And the main thing that I love about them is you can hear traffic, you can hear people, you can hear just the environment of riding because that's why we ride, isn't it? Like we wanna hear like the birds. They are IP67 waterproof. So that means if you are sweating a lot on rides, um, they're gonna be fine. And they've also got like a quick charge function so that they have got, I think they've got eight hours um, like total battery time. I've had about nine and a half out of them to be honest. Um, but if you charge them up for 10 minutes, you get an extra like one and a half hours charge time from them. The sound quality is really good. The audio quality for voice calls is actually really good as well. I love them. I wouldn't be without them for my long rides. They've also given us a £10 discount code. I've not had a discount code before, so I'll leave all the details below. Um, it's only for a limited amount of time, so I'll put all the details below. If you've got any tips as well, I know a lot of you will have on how you, I don't know, help push yourself on endurance rides, leave them in the comments and any questions as always leave them in the comments as well and i will see you all next video this squeaky chair oh, does my head in i need to uh, i need to buy a new chair can you hear it anyway goodbye